Hello, I am Terry Saka, Chief Strategist, and I'm along with Dr. Charles Vance and the Wealth Transfer News, where truth is going to set you free, because I don't think last week is going to be the last time. I think it's time we start speaking truth, so we, the people, can be free. You what speak you say, the Charles? truth all the time, but <laughs> last week you were a little fervent with the truth, and I understand that. We need to be. Uh, people are tired people that are genuine, mm -hmm. that want to know the truth and live in the truth, that's what sets you free, not just knowing the yes, truth, living but in living it. in the yes, truth. Right. And you got to do something about it. Uh, you got to be a doer. James, Jesus' brother, said you have to be a doer mm. of the word and not a hearer only, or you deceive yourself. And? and okay, no, keep on. So, so, well, there's a lot of people that deceive themselves just thinking they're hearing the truth makes a difference in their life, and it doesn't. You have to act on it. Do it. you got to do it. Now, also, stand. When it's time to stand, you Absolutely. stand. Absolutely. And that's our responsibility. Yes. A lot of people think they have privileges. Privileges don't come without responsibility. So if we mm -hmm. become a people that are responsible, then we can take advantage of those privileges, be responsible with them, and they'll produce something in our lives. Mm -hmm. and that's what this program is all about, is us becoming responsible, getting ourselves. We talked about this five years ago when you started this show. What are we going to call it? And when we came on the, the, the name wealth transfer, there's always money moving. Are you going to be in a position where it's taken from you, where it moves away from you, or are you going to put yourself in a position where that money flows to you? And, and the only way that money can flow to us, thank God for a system that we live in where that we can get out and learn things and put that learning to work. Mm. And we can actually be producers instead of just consumers. Uh oh, that sounds <clears throat> Austrian economics. Well, Producing let me tell you what else huh? it is, too. It's biblical. Uh, you if, just <laughs> said why I'm... T you know what? That's exactly my whole point. If you're, if you're not a producer, yep. Paul actually said, if you don't take care of your own family, you're worse than an infidel, uh, which means you're an unbeliever. Somebody doesn't even believe in God. And he also... See, you got me ranting already. He, uh -huh. he said, <laughs> if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. And that would cure a lot of things. If, if you only got the fruits of your labor... Would you be doing well? If you only got the fruit of your activity in your life, would you be doing well? Because there's going to come a time in, in the not too near future, I believe, that if we're not doing what is right, making proper decisions, and we talk about this is constantly the theme mm -hmm. of this program, making decisions with the proper information that will produce the right results. We'll find ourselves being people that are consumers, and when it's all consumed up and used up, we're going to find ourselves up a creek without a paddle. Well, that's the locust. That's the socialist. Yeah. And I always wondered, all these protesters, a lot of times, that seem to be showing up. Uh, I won't call the names out. Well, why not? You know, the, the, whole, the whole matters crew, the whole socialist movement anarchists, don't they have jobs? Oh, no, they don't. So, you see, the thing is, if you don't have a job, you're considered in the Bible, you're the slothful and the lazy, you shouldn't eat. But they want to shame through the code words of hate or race mm -hmm. to somehow say, you're this because you're against me. No, you're lazy and I'm against that. You are attacking God. I'm, a, I'm against that. You Here, see, it, it's a difference it, of opinion. It's a principle that God set in place in the very beginning of the Bible, yes. in the book of Genesis. As long as the earth remains, seed, time, and harvest. Right. If you try to come and get my harvest, and I'm the one sowing the seed, yes. then it doesn't feel right to right. me. Now, if I'm the one, and I'm taught that it's okay to take your harvest, you do all the work, and I'm taught that that's right, yes. which it's not right biblically. i got a big one here. I could wave it. Knock you know, him over it, the head with it. If, tell you what, if it's, it's not right, and it's not right biblically, then someone doesn't have a right to what I work thank for. Thank you. That's my point. And yeah. nobody has a right to what someone else works for unless they want to give them yes. some of it. Don't take so it from I them. I agree. And so as we're trying to make proper financial decisions for the transfer that's coming in the kingdom, well, the biggest threat we have besides the banking collapse that's getting ready to take place not all banking, I'm just saying we're going to have a reset. Valuation, buying power, that's more of anything else is buying power, is going to deplete even more. Our biggest threat rate at that point is the social justice warrior movement going on. And it's a threat, mind you. The college campuses are loaded with social justice warriors. I mean, they are the sniveling little whinies, I, I can't even believe. Social justice warriors are the socialist thinking. Just what Charles said, out of Bible, and they want to take what they, is not theirs to have. Why are they the threat? Because not only are they coming after our Jesus Christ and Bible, 
They're the ones that are coming after your savings. They're the ones that want you to pay higher premiums for health care, you to pay higher deductibles for health care, you to pay ungodly amounts of taxes so they can have free college, so they can have free cell phones, so they can have free food. You see, it's not about helping someone. It's an entitlement. These are social justice warriors. God forbid you say the wrong word. And, and you know, they need to go run to a little safe space so their emotions don't collapse. I mean, are you kidding me? Now here, you know, here's warriors, a, a spiritual, in. mind you. I have to get my hand over here. Let me butt in. This is it. It's really to be fair. They've been taught to do this. I know the government. I'm with you. The, the yes. government. I'm so with you. it's really not honestly, only the government education system, but yes, it, it, yes. It, it's not their fault if you. It's not your fault if you've been taught black as white. You can't say. Are you, you racist? No, no, oh, by no oh, means. Oh, I see. You see my point? <laughs> I, oh, exactly. Social justice sensitivity, but, but it's ridiculous. If you're, if you're taught that one is two, uh, if you're taught it wrong, then you're going to just believe it's wrong until somebody teaches you something different. And the unfortunate thing is our government is giving the people, the, the populace in general, the mentality that's okay to have an entitlement mentality. I understand, but and that's, that's incorrect. my point. It's that's wrong. my point. Is why you know enough's enough for the kingdom. We have sure. better start saying something. Well, and we've standing. got we've got to do something to protect ourselves yeah. in the middle of all of this. Well, and that's where this gold and silver came in. Absolutely. Yeah. And here's what happens. Uh, when we come into a place where that we're in relationship with God, when we come into a place where that we're doing truth and being honest, the Bible says that a thousand can fall at our, our, our side, ten thousand at our right hand, and it won't come near us. That means that there could be destruction and mess all around you. Look at the book of Revelation. Uh, there's going to be a lot of catastrophe that takes place while people are here on the earth. A lot of horrible things, but it doesn't happen to everybody everywhere because there's protection that I believe is self-created protection yeah. because people have prepared for the, the tragedy that will come well, uh, as a result of yes. people that are not doing the right thing. And the, you know, there is talk of internment camps, there's talk of re sure. I mean, The reason why, if when this thing really reset takes place, our economy is going to be such dire strait that if we're not prepared or if anything, prepared as a, as a church, as a group. For those that don't have anything, they're aligned with people who do. We look after one another. If we're not prepared, then we're, they're going to be taken away because someone's got to look after you. So the point is, get out of the... If we're in the system that's manipulating you, lying to you and deceiving you, you're not going to be part of the wealth transfer. You're going to lose buying power. We all know, right? We're buying food. Silver always will be in there in that respect because it's the constitutional dollar and it's the biblical dollar. So there is something to this in the wealth transfer. And I know because the financials, the data is screaming that something's wrong. Look at, let's go right in. Let's start watching some of this. We talk about this. Let's look at it. The social justice warrior mentality is designed to take the last bit of anything we believe to be real or true. I, you better start talking about this in your neighborhoods and your people. You better start saying no and then teach them what the truth is because this is the last roundabout. If we make the mistake again and we vote left socialist anarchist, you, we're done. Number one, financially, and I'm going to show you why right now. Look at this. If we go in, not that way, let's go the other way. Right here. This is total public debt in the billions. Now, the reason this is important, not that and I'm going to hit it because I'm going to be a little bit politically angled on it, but it's not exactly accurate. But let me tell you why. This is our debt. Now, if you go back even just to 2008, which was the last Shemitah, and then look at the skyrocketing debt we've had. What I like about this, the yellow arrow is where we are now, 19 trillion plus, and it's going to keep rising. Now, this is individual public debt? This is just public debt. Okay. Now, here's the important part. See that big blue arrow? That's the total debt increased under Barack Hussein Obama. Wow. He has increased more debt than any, and all presidents combined. Now, in all fairness to him, and I'm being serious. Well, I mean, it's, not, I'm really it's not him that's charging our credit cards. No, I know. But the inflation okay. and the standard of living is so bad, it's, everything's harder to do. Harder to survive. Sure. Harder to pay the rent, the inflated rent. It's not all the president's fault. So, in all fairness... He inherited this collapse from, mm -hmm. from you know, uh, President Bush. But 
His policies have double, triple, quadruple down. Sure. Obamacare is a colossal nightmare. Mm -hmm. Everything else he has done is a nightmare. The immigration, do you know right now today, and then we're going to take a break, you know right now today, he has declared in the budget more money be given to illegal aliens coming across the border than our retirement, our retirees getting Social Security. How do you like that one, all those who are retired? And these also, if you look at the welfare statistics, not the fact that we spend one trillion dollars a year in welfare, there are legitimate people that need welfare, that's what it was for. But the welfare statistic, illegal aliens get more in welfare than American-born people of welfare. Oh, oh. And that doesn't bother us, right? Yeah, bring more in. We only have a hundred million people not working. You see, it's a design. I call it the, the Cloward Piven theory, but it's a design to overload the system, to financially collapse it, and in the chaos, you, we, not me, but we the people in general, will be so panicked because they can no longer go to the movies and eat food and have freedom. Not freedom, because we already don't have that. But I mean, you know what I mean, have their standard of living, that they will give up more freedom and rights, just like we gave up the Patriot Act. So. It's coming because it's by design to come. The reason it's coming because it's being done on purpose. The trillions they're printing and everything else. So an education is so important right now. To be aware is so important. And a good place to get started, right here. Take down the web address. Register for information. If you need some guidance, give us a call. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those of you who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you who have cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call our toll-free number or register on our website now. So the debt we're building is paper fake fiat debt. So what we do is we the people in the kingdom. We get out of it and go into constitutional money, silver and gold, Look at this image right now. This is an international statistic for debt in paper world. Now, regardless of what you've heard them say, gold always in history was attached to debt. The price of gold was attached to the amount of money printed in circulation. Right now, it's perverted to the nth degree, but so is our social society, so is our communities, our schools, and everything else. So perversion seems to be the way to go, which tells me the Antichrist is probably closer than ever. But the international community is showing this statistic, which I don't buy that it ever gets this high. But this is a picture of how much debt we have. In this image, you're seeing current gold values, hypothetical gold revaluation, and then, of course, the international standard of what it really should be. Basically, what that means, the green is really in the currency itself. That's the actual paper money in trillions equivalent to dollars. Now, the current value of gold to paper is basically you see it. Where it should be in the middle is $22,000 an ounce. But really, globally, internationally, if we look at all the paper money printed, gold would be valued at $50,000 an ounce. You mean, you're saying if, if gold backed the money? If they did the standard that gold represented the amount of money printed, what you're seeing right now is that's showing you that gold would be valued at fifty thousand. No, it's not. It's at sure. thirteen hundred. Absolutely. It never will go that high, but, probably. But it's simply because paper, paper money printing is just completely. It, it's been let go. Yes. And and yes. they're just doing it over and now, over and over again. In the reset, we're saying that's coming. There will be a reevaluation to some extent. Gold will go a lot higher because they'll use the higher gold price to offset some of the debt they have. Eventually, they all know this to be true. So it's important to know. Now, it's not about us. The United States doesn't control the world. We have the best military in the SWIFT, which got hacked, which is interesting. 
but we don't control the world. But what's interesting that is coming into play is known as Shanghai, China, period, cut and dry. And the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. So Shanghai's come into play. And Shanghai now is setting the stage to control the commodity pricing and their real prices. They're not derivatives. Not to say they won't, but right now I think they're going to do this to take us down a peg while they come up a peg. When we say reset, we believe that dollar comes down, Chinese come up. And then it's a reset taking place. And it's simply because they're using real assets to value their currency. Is that um, correct? Not necessarily because they're printing too. Okay. But the thing is, the goal is this is going to come down in value. Meaning debased, meaning our buying power. Meaning goods are going to be a lot more expensive. Inflation mm -hmm. will come. So that puts them in control um, financially it puts them, more. Yeah. It, it definitely is going to give them more control. Sure. Look at this. Now this is the Shanghai withdrawal versus the world gold production. Now, world gold production is blue. And look at Shanghai withdrawal in gray. So, well, what do you mean by withdrawal? Meaning the contracts. You see, Americans is all paper. But if you notice here, what gold they're taking out in Shanghai is almost equal to the world's production of gold. Mm. Which is telling you they're taking this gold and they're putting it somewhere. Why? You see? I don't know if people get that. What I just said, they're taking the gold over in Asia, in the Middle East, in Russia. Americans are not. Well, to some extent they are, but they're really not. And I, I actually believe that if the majority of Americans, or even 20%, 15% of Americans, woke up and decided to get out of paper into tangible assets, um, the government probably would do some capital controls on it, I would think. Uh, be, because they're just not going to lose the game. See, we're not going to win the game against the Luciferians. Don't try. But what we, we, the people who are more the remnant that are woken to the apocalypse, that are looking behind the unveiling and seeing the truth, we protect ourselves. Hopefully, we'll be more the leaders. Those that are having the dreams and waking up and saying, whoa, something's wrong. I know out of thousands and thousands of people watching right now, thousands and thousands and thousands of you will never do one thing. But there'll be one out of here, one from there that wake up and go, oh my gosh. And we're here to speak to you. No different than probably witnessing the people in the Bible. Most just are not going to care. They'll walk with their demon. But So here is the same thing. They're doing it over there. Why are we not doing it? See, so look at this one right here. You want to think our economy is okay like they're telling you? This is a two-labor story. If you notice going all the way back, now this goes back all the way to what, 1995 on the left. Mm -hmm that a civilian employment and official unemployment rate was always equal, pretty much, right? That's because we kept honest statistics. Well, then the collapse happened in 2008, and then look what happened after the collapse. Mm. Interesting, it separated. Divergence. Not the movie Divergent, by the way, which we all should become, but the divergence. But this is nonsense, or at least an indicator of serious questions about the validity of both the measure and the narrative constructed from it. You can take that off because what that said was our unemployment rate is a lot higher. That's a disconnect. There's trouble in the, in the horizon. So another thing to show that kind of helps us understand our economy. Basically what that just showed you is it's all a lie. Our unemployment is well over 10%, and I say it's what higher. What people should be concerned about is, is those people have to live. Yes. And, and we have a government that has committed basically to people, we're going to feed you. If we need to, we'll house you. If we need to, we'll buy you a phone. We have public transportation you can get on for nearly nothing and ride around if you need. Um, it, that money's got to come from somewhere. Right. So the money is coming from the people that are producing the money being overtaxed by the government and then handed back in a form of whatever the form is, welfare or yes. free housing. Well, and you know, uh, and you're, you're right there on that one part there, Charles, is that you know, people still have to live. And we, we're compassionate people. So sure we welfare, are. I mean, I'm not beating up those that are entitlement-minded thinkers. I am to some extent. But what, what the difference is, we have a, a system right now anyway, and this is the whole socialist, anarchist revolution, Soros-minded people. They want to destroy us. It's their goal to destroy us. Just get over that. It is. But the difference is, if we teach those people, you're on welfare, you get all this, fine. 
teach them how to be an entrepreneur and start a business. Give them the outlet and the opportunity. Nobody wants to sit in the hood, you see? Give them a chance. Now, mind you, they have a chance with public libraries, go read books like Dr. Carson. And there are those who do pull themselves out. But let's teach entrepreneurialism. Teach business to the youth. There may be 100 million not working, but there could be millions more starting businesses, creating opportunity. Because remember, most employment comes from small business. That's the difference of the argument. You don't always have to be on the welfare roll. The reason it's important for us to know this, if you're on the welfare roll, you're not protecting your assets, you're not part of the production or the system. But for those of us that have our assets, we're outlining what's coming so you get protected. And in the meantime, hopefully what rises out of the ashes, whether we like it or not, will be someone like a Donald Trump, who's a business-minded person. Problem is the evangelical community doesn't really want to go there all the way. And they're like, I just won't vote. If you don't vote for the Republican nominee, you vote for Hillary, the blood's on your hands. Remember, she's one of the largest promoters of abortion where they chop up babies and sell them off. Do you really want to be part of that liability? I wouldn't, okay? So you have to understand this is important. He may not be perfect, but let's do this. Let's accept Donald Trump as a, God, will, God will take care of him like a Nebuchadnezzar. Let's pray that the pressure of the Holy Spirit come upon him and he teaches this nation how to be business and self-reliant again. So let's think about getting an education. Let's do one more quick little take on this, get some information, be educated, and this is the best way to get started. Register, give us a call, we'll guide you. If anything, go somewhere. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked hard to gain. For those of you who have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, we would like to send you a package of information regarding the changes to the dollar and the challenges of our economy that you need to be prepared for. This package includes how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA for long-term protection of your hard-earned wealth. For those of you who have cash to invest, we can arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or simply send it to your home. Call our toll-free number or register on our website now. Those who support you control you. That's very important because what we're talking about, all of these left-leaning socialists that are just unfortunately uneducated, they just don't get it, we just need to help them educate because sure. they think they want, but they don't because when you're controlled, do you want to be controlled like there's that? An insatiable, well, some actually do. There, there's an insatiable desire in, in people to be that controlled? God built us, no, that he built in us to be in control. That's why it's so frustrating to be out of control. Ask anybody that's thinking properly. If you're out of control of a situation, it's one of the most frustrating places or seasons you can ever be in your life because God created us to dominate the earth. You know what? Made us in his likeness and after his image like and that. told us to subdue everything that he created. We're supposed to be in control of our own destiny not let somebody else be in control of and it. you know that's very interesting beyond just that they're they're being egged on by the the soros leftists what all the frustration we're seeing and why the whole concept of the black lives matter got created it, it, it was created because they were created by revolutionary anarchists and it wasn't really about the actual individual life matters it was a movement period but they're creating a frustration and the frustration is there look at this image Maybe this is why, because most of those people are probably on this. This is food stamps. This goes all the way back to 1976. We have never had the staggering number of food stamps on the right side that we have today. It's never had this. So if you're on food stamps, mind you, you're not getting a lot of money. So is there frustration there? Is that why you're angry? Because your life is so miserable? Look at this. Because you're not being shown the opportunity? <coughs> Here's the economy, going back to the Shemitah, since the President uh, Obama has been elected. At that time, things were pretty flat. <coughs> Look at the manufacturing jobs in red that were lost. Mm. The green were the bartenders and waiters. 
<laughs> interesting, right? Very interesting. Bartenders and waiters skyrocketed under this presidency. All the manufacturing jobs are lost. And obviously, the manufacturing mm -hmm. jobs are the people that are producers, not making consumers. bigger money. Yeah, yeah, because if you're a waiter and a bartender, you're just getting by. So, almost all of it. Now, what's going into this? We call it as a bread and circus economy. That's been the increase. Mm. <laughs> so, 15 percent <coughs> of the population is receiving food stamps in America. Is that correct? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a huge percentage. Yeah, that just puts people out of control of their own destiny. When, yes, when that that's my place. point, and that's yeah. what I'm getting at. And then, so those that have jobs, they got into this part-time economy. Mm. Here's the, t t the statistic we'll leave with you. I'll just, I, we can't really, let's not even go into visualize that. Here's a t statistic. Out of the 2.2 million jobs created in the last seven years under this administration, 87% of them part-time. Do you think wow. you're in control <laughs> if you're in a part-time job? No wonder there's frustration. Wait till you see the data next week. Until then, God bless you. Invite them in and let the truth set you free. We'll see you next week for the wealth transfer. Cornerstone Asset Metals has focused on using gold and silver reserves to protect your assets from volatile currencies. Another hard asset that is just as important for your sustainability is food. We believe that preparation is a key to being successful in an unstable economic environment, so we started CAM Ready Food just for you. The Bible tells us that Joseph used the resources of Egypt to prepare for a global famine by storing up food in a time of plenty. His preparation not only preserved the lives of his family, but many others as well. At Cornerstone, we believe the time is now to re-examine this biblical lesson so that you and your family can be prepared for any disaster, job loss, food shortage, or economic instability. You can start preparing today by visiting our website, camreadyfood.com, because food truly is the ultimate currency. Are you concerned about the security of your financial future? Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you prepare for the extraordinary times ahead by protecting and preserving your assets through silver and gold. At Cornerstone, the protection and preservation of your investment is our first goal. So we are here to serve you with honesty, transparency, and respect. Take control of your future by registering on our website at cornerstoneassetmetals.com or call us toll free at 888-747-3309. Call now. 888-747-3309. At Cornerstone, securing your future is our goal.